Friends of TM500 Tectronics plugins, good morning. I usually made all my videos on my YouTube channel in French, but exceptionally I want to make this one in English and to dedicate it to all the members of the Tectronics uh, CRTO Scope group on Yahoo. I uh, read a lot this group and I find it very useful on and with very nice member which exchange a lot of very interesting information for all Tectronix enthusiasts like, like me. <laughs> so, um, I, I have a, a big problem with my uh, PS5010 uh, plugins because I apply too much uh, voltage between grounds and one of the floating outputs so uh, some component has been destroyed in, into it. Uh, so now I fix it, but of course I need to recalibrate it. And uh, it's not easy with uh, double plugins to, to do it. So uh, I've built uh, two extenders and I want to show them to you. Let's go. Some years ago I built this fixture uh, which is intended to be played on the uh, plugins uh, to power it with a protected lab power supply. Uh, this uh, feature um, has the two power transistors needed by the, the plugin. So, of course, it's, it's very handy when you want to repair uh, some uh, plugins, but for double plugins, and when the plugins use uh, a lot of uh, power supply, it's not very uh, handy. So I decided to build this uh, extender. So the main idea of this extender is to limit the number of wheels between the plugin and the mainframe. Uh, to use uh, external transistors, which are not the transistor of the mainframes. So this short the wear between the plugin and the transistor, and of course, uh, if uh, the transistor are damaged, it's much more easy to change it here than change the transistor of the mainframe. So here I have uh, add some fuse on each uh, power supply, which uh, LED to uh, have a visualization uh, if the power supply are okay. So to build it, I use a print board, a circuit board, a single-sided. Uh, with my CNC, I uh, engrave some trays uh, on it. With my uh, milling machine, I build these two uh, aluminium uh, features to mount the connector uh, on it. After, I put some protective coat on it to, to finish it. All the wheels. Uh, are fixed here to avoid to be damaged when the system is moved. Um, for the part which is plugged into the mainframe, I use my CNC tool to cut this uh, in, a, in a little epoxy board. This makes a, a kind of handle which is very easy to, to, to manipulate to, to put it in the mainframe. Here I solder the rails on this connector which has been fixed here on, uh, on the plate. Uh, in both uh, I have printed out these labels to know the pinout of the connector. So this is uh, the idea. Uh, of course I have built uh, two of them because uh, for double plugins I need two. On here for example I have plugged in into a mainframe and you can see all the LED for the uh, 25 volts, uh, the 11 volts and the minus on positive 33 uh, volts. It can be used in TM500 and TM5000 theory. Uh, Even if uh, on the TM5000 the voltage is lower, of course it works in the same way. Okay, that's it. So now I will of course use these two extenders to calibrate my plugins, but I'm sure that I will uh, use them uh, many times because I own more than 100 plugins and I really very often need to uh, repair or to recalibrate them. Thanks a lot for watching and have a nice day.
Goodbye.